It's one of the most recognizable landmarks along the Niagara stretch of the Queen Elizabeth Way. Many viewers would like to know the story behind the shipwreck in Jordan Harbor. This is how the ship looked when you asked about it six years ago. It was called Le Grand Ermine. The ship was a 140-foot replica of the largest of three ships French explorer Jacques Cartier used to sail to Canada. The wooden facade was built on the steel hull of a 77-year-old Quebec ferry when it was converted to a bar and restaurant for Expo 67 in Montreal. At one time, the vessel was turned into a haunted pirate ship at Halloween to raise money for a hot lunch program for students. Four years ago, kids turned up the heat on the ship in Jordan Harbor. They lit a fire, apparently trying to keep warm on a cold winter's night. Unfortunately, the fire got out of control and a piece of history went up in smoke. So driving on the highway here in Canada, saw these two big masts, spotted uh, the boat then, and uh, figured we better stop. Unfortunately, it does look like I'm not going to be able to reach it without swimming to it. It's pretty rusted out, and there's a ton of birds. Plus, I do not have a waterproof camera, so. I think all we're going to do is be able to get shots from the shore. Uh, the ship was brought down from Montreal by a gentleman that wanted to use it as an interim casino in Chippewa. And uh, until he got permission to do that, he uh, harbored it here. Unfortunately, his dream died with him. Uh, he passed away a couple years ago, and uh, since then we've had the ship around. Yeah, he had a kayak or something to just go right out to it. We're going that garbage can. <laughs> People from uh, the states that wanted to use the ship. He's a marine owner and uh, wanted to sink it out there for diving purposes. There's also a group from Hamilton that wanted to restore the, the ship and uh, bring it to Pier 4 for observation and recreation. And while it may look like it's ready for the scrapyard, it's still a magnet for passers-by.